Hey guys, it's Phoenix Automotive here again, and in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to connect your Wi-Fi OBD reader. Now, for the Tesla style units, you're gonna be using Wi-Fi and not the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth does not work yet. Um, so let's show you how to connect this. What we're gonna do is go on the internet first. So if we go to settings, more settings, uh, we already connected to our internet. It's called uh, Netgear 85, and we're gonna open Google Play Store. Once you open Google Play Store, you're gonna find the Torque app. Uh, spelled T-O-R-Q-U-E, yeah. So Torque Lite. Now there is a regular version of this, which is a paid version. I believe it's like $5.99. But you can see I've installed Torque Lite, and all I have to do is just press open. So let's open the app. It's in my app list right here. And this is the application. So let's just go through this, okay. And you can see right now there's nothing shown, but this is the information you can see. This is the application. Let's close out the application and connect our OBD reader. So find the connection at the bottom near your foot area. There should be a connector that looks like this uh, shape and let's plug it in. So once we've plugged it in, I do see a red and a green flashing light. What we can do now is go into our settings for Wi-Fi. More settings, we're connected to our internet right now. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi OBD. It should show up here if we just wait for it. Let's see if we can refresh. What I'll do is I'll turn off the Wi-Fi, then turn it back on. We'll see if it shows up. So you can see right there, Wi-Fi OBD2, and we are connected to it. If I press and hold it, and I do modify network, and I press advanced options, I have the proxy as none and the IP settings as DHCP. So let's do cancel. And now let's go into the Torque app and see if we can connect to our OBD at the bottom right there. Okay. And so on the top here left, it says no Bluetooth device selected. So we're gonna go into settings and change our application to run off of Wi-Fi. So settings again, go into OBD2 adapter settings, and then connection. We're gonna choose the connection type to be Wi-Fi. Now that it's changed to Wi-Fi, we're going to, so there's two things you need to set up with a Wi-Fi one. You need to choose the correct IP address and the correct port. So IP address, that's what we currently have, 192.168.0.10, cancel. And the port, we have it as 35000, cancel. So now that we've set it to Wi-Fi connection, we'll go back, back again. And just for safekeeping, uh, we're going to close out the app. So those are the settings that we had for Wi-Fi and once we changed the application to set on Wi-Fi, it did connect. So now it says connected to ECU. Uh, we do have a graph here. I do see some numbers in the back, but let's add another display by pressing and holding, add display. And let's do a, a dial and we'll do acceleration sensor, large. But there's no data just cause let's try. I do see numbers at the back. I don't know what this uh, graph is for. Let's open a graph that I do know. Display, uh, engine RPM, large. And there we have our engine RPM. So if I press and hold and I press move display, I can move it around. And that's essentially what this uh, Wi-Fi OBD gives you. It gives you uh, information that you can show on your application. So this is the Torque app and again, um, only use the Wi-Fi OBD for so this is a display of the barrow temp of the display let's see add display graph and then we'll choose the barometric pressure from the vehicle large let's do a small and it's the same one so it should be reading your car's information and relaying it back to this application reading from the OBD reader uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.